evening all of you yes welcome back to one more session of your WOC now today the layout of the video is a little bit different it's okay now as you all know we are left with 15 days for your board exam preparation and everybody is struggling with the books but here your bunny ma'am is back as I said I've been doing since 21st of last month till now for your board exam we did solutions chapter we did electrochemistry chapter, we did chemical kinetics chapter. Now it's time for us to do the D and F block. Yes, inorganic chemistry, which is for seven marks. Yes, so this D and F block basically is a theoretical based chapter. Correct. There are a lot of important trends you need to understand. You need to study or revise the particular chapter in the form of subjective way. That is, you need to know how to write the answer, how to present the answer so that you get that mark. So I'm going to train you in that basis. See, examination point of time, we have very less time and most important we have to focus on as to how to write the board exam chemistry paper correct so dna block chapter as i said i i'm going to send you or give you rather show you and explain you rather how to answer the mcqs what tricks you have to remember i'm going to then train you into the one mark question two mark three mark and five mark in this chapter as i said you have all the trends which you should study I'm going to show you line by line how are the trends, where are, how you have to study the trends, which one to stress, where to write, how to write also I'm going to train. Next point is potassium permanganate and potassium dichromate. That's a very important topic and it's easy actually, very easy. I'm going to tell you how we are going to do and how are we going to practice it also. Next, as I said, lanthanides and actinides, the concept is small, but very, very interesting. Lanthanide contraction, easy, isn't it? So we'll do all the topics. I want all of you to follow it page by page. Most important thing is, Yovani ma'am or the world of chemistry, I have done one shot videos. Yes, DNA block, I took line by line and I did one shot videos. I request all of you to watch that one shot videos first. Reason that one shot videos will give you complete analysis of the whole NCRT chapter. There is nothing called fake thumbnail, nothing. Here we are providing free service to all of you. Correct? Vanima believes in providing free service to all of you. Yes. So, this series for your board examination will help you in three ways. First point, if you short, watch one shot videos, you will be clear about the NCRT textbook. Second thing, PYQs are also there. I did 11 years of previous year's question papers and kept in the playlist. Third, now I'm doing the examination series where you'll be solving MCQs, almost 150, 160 MCQs. One mark questions, two mark questions, three and five mark questions. And one more thing, if you watch this, you'll be able to also do the case-based questions. Also, you'll be able to do the assertion and reasoning questions. Got it, students? All right. Nothing to worry, believe in yourself. Most important thing is work hard. Yes, hard work creates miracles. Join the Telegram channel immediately because all and everything is provided with the Telegram channel. But first we should know what to study, what is there for the exam, correct? Yes, let's start the video. Thank you so much. Start with the video. Yes, as, you ha as I have told you, all right, let me maximize it. Now check. What is this? This is line by line NCRT. Okay, line by line NCRT MCQs. Okay, you're able to see the whole screen, I believe. This line by line NCRT, little bit, let me minimize so that it is easy for you. All right, check. From page number 215, the MCQs all are given. This is NCRT topic wise MCQs. Please see this. According to the introduction, questions are given. Position of the periodic table, again, questions are given. So gradually all these questions one after the other are lined up and most important thing is after every rather every topic the question is made for you all in the examination point of view how it is given so electronic configuration how is the MCQ given from electronic configuration gradually I have taken into different questions like general properties now in general properties maximum your trends will follow right. So general properties of the transition elements, how the question is given, how the how they going to ask you. So examination time, you need to train yourself in terms of questioning, like how you're going to answer the questions. That is most important. All right. This is how it goes. 
next gradually from there from the trends i am taking you into the next topic say trends lot of things are there ionic radii atomic radii color property unpaired electrons oxidation states correct na so all that particular thing all the questions still you are most you know start from the starting we are going into the topic gradually and gradually gradually see so many mcqs are there for the particular topic all right so from this particular topic if i have to take you the next after the mcqs and never ending mcqs because i'm covering melting point i'm covering oxidation state i'm covering ionization potential i'm covering the metallic property uh, everything rather all the mcqs are covered in this particular thing and in that after gradually i go i finish the mc means strengths i have gone to the topic of potassium dichromate and potassium permanganate so in this topic as i said all very important properties oxidizing properties mcqs are also asked so I picked up from 234 page 231 like that 106 106 like so every line of ncert is covered in this now gradually when we go into the top properties the chemical properties of potassium permanganate and potassium you know dichromate so many mcqs are framed based on the acidic medium basic medium and after these questions are made as i said we are going into gradually taking the concept of permanganate and potassium dichromate so many questions we are gradually finishing off from the permanganate see here into lanthanoids lanthanoids again page number 236 starting from the uh, you know and general properties and you know we are gradually going into all the topics of lanthanoids yes carefully everything every question is done carefully from my end so you all know it takes a lot of pain after lanthanoids then actinoids actinoids also is done for you all you can go through the whole chapter so applications also some dnf block application questions are also mcq also they'll ask you so that also is done here so carefully observe it and you can go through the topic and learn from it then not only those ncert exemplar questions in the past neat questions are also done in this so carefully go through it and any doubts please let me know i am going to answer all your questions all your questions rather yes so careful students when you are solving and ma'am where, where are the answers for this so all these questions answers are at the end when you take it neat questions past neat year, uh, past years neat questions are also there you can take this and from here from the neat questions gradually as i show you the solutions the key answers are here the key answers uh, the solution answers and the hints how you are going to study and everything is here gradually yes this is how all the answers are given and we are almost done with the mcqs now after the mcqs answers are given a next important thing is now important for you is to study the flow chart correct na so flow chart okay all these are your mcq answers gradually and uh, let me show you one second exercise 1 exercise 2 all yes these are all the answers for those now important thing is as i said dnf block yes summary summary of the chapter what points to remember what points to remember based on the electronic configuration then gradually what points to remember based on their atomic and ionic radii and uh, what points to remember in terms of enthalpy so of atomization and ionization enthalpy standard electrode potential if you study this paragraph you know that will be more than enough for your uh, complete study it is easy very easy like if it covers this paragraph covers the whole concept all right then from there gradually we are going into magnetic properties then formation of colored compounds then formation of you know complex compounds and everything from there gradually once you finish yes alloy formation catalytic property and we are going to interstitial compounds also we are not going to leave the most important thing that is kmnf4 yes potassium permanganate or potassium dichromate its properties yeah? all right so everything is there with the structure and uses now comes your final potassium permanganate all are there in this preparations 
<coughs> uses structure as well as properties everything is covered in this after we go there then comes your yes f block elements both lanthanides and actinoids in one page see here lanthanides and actinoids are in one page easy very easy from there we are going to go through objective questions now again you have different varieties of mcqs here gradually starting from the concept of you know unpaired electrons based on that whether it is called the transition element or not from the mcqs gradually step by step this is one more set of mcqs which uh, is important for you all from there gradually we are going into we are going into yes all these are mcqs then follows fill in the blanks then follows your assertion and reasoning type questions then comes your one word questions then comes your very short answers with the question and answer explain copper sulfate 5h2 is blue why copper sulfate is colorless very important questions these are so all these very short answers gradually all taking you into very important thing three marks questions two and three marks questions from there with the question answer you can directly write this answer in the board exam this is according to the board key only so why explain why copper plus is not stable in aqueous solution so if you write this answer it is more than enough for your board exam gradually gradually from there we are going into next type that's nothing but your five mark questions <coughs> five mark questions that is a long answer questions so these are your long answer questions and completely the chapter the long answer everything is given here all the long answers see few questions you know long answer see here there will be two questions only two and a half mark and two and a half in that again sub parts are there so careful such questions how to answer also i have given here so carefully watch the video watch the complete notes and if you study this if you study this this is more than enough for your board exam I, uh, finally case based questions are also included in this you can watch and based on that what questions are asked what the passage is given to you and the answers also for this basically are given to you so passage uh, case based pa passage three blocks are given so the based on the questions are also given to you all right so this is the whole chapter students with the answers but basically the complete answer is here so the complete answer is here sorry for the call and uh, one second please complete answer is here all right so complete there's one unit test question also which i have given unit unit test question unit test paper worksheet paper you can take this worksheet and there are two worksheets there are two worksheets again get me there are two worksheets here one and two so please watch this practice this any time if you have doubt please ask this is the end so i request all of you to go through the complete theory and follow this if you study this and if you watch one shot videos your chapter will be complete all right please like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel this is your mani ma'am your world of chemistry signing off thank you and all the best i'll be coming back with next chapter that is coordination compounds so inform all your friends to subscribe to the channel thank you